or for example, when Western countries were supporting apartheid in South Africa, when the apartheid regime was uh, affiliated with, with the Western bloc, Iran was supporting the resistance, the ANC and, and other resistance groups. Nelson Mandela was a terrorist, according to US law. The ANC was a terrorist organization, according to US law. When Nelson Mandela was freed from prison and later when he became president, he was still a terrorist, according to US law. When he went, when his term in office finished, he was still a terrorist in US law. It was only in 2008 when his name was finally removed and, and the ANC. Nelson Mandela went, uh, I think one of the, uh, maybe the second or third country that he visited after being freed was Iran. Right. So, I mean, is South Africa a, a Shia country? Or again, you know, the Palestinians, now that everyone has forsaken them, the, the only country that supports them is Iran. I mean, Turkey yeah. pretends that it's support, supporting them, but, you know, the, the, the Turkish government has formal relations with Israel. They trade yeah. with Israel. Exactly. Israeli tourists, you know, they go to, at, you know, they have direct flights. It's, you know... And they were on the same page in, in Syria. Both were working to right. destroy Syria. Sadly, because the Turkish people, you know, and many people actually in, in the ruling party are, are very decent people, but, um, but this is a sad reality of Turkish policy there. So yes, it's, I, these are excuses because, uh, for, I mean, this, this extremism that we see today was actually, as you know quite well, first developed in Afghanistan, and the American government and the Saudis uh, started supporting them. Their their school books and their, their, the books that they used to build up their ideology were actually first published in the United States. They were printed in the United States and taken to Afghanistan. So they use Al Qaeda and, and 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 later what became the Taliban in Afghanistan for strategic purposes. So, you know, if it's a religious thing, it's their religion because they own it, they in, they in the Saudis. Uh, but this has nothing to do with religion. After all, the, the secular West, they are res responsible for more death and destruction across the globe and in, in Europe itself in the First and Second World War than go. any, you know, other country anywhere else in the world. If, if, if Hitler has committed at atrocities uh, or Churchill has committed atrocities, and you combine them, uh, all their atrocities, uh, it's, it's infinitely greater than, you know, what uh, other countries have done. What Hitler did to you know, Europeans, Churchill did to the rest of the world. So, yeah. you know, but you, you know, but again, the Europeans seem to think that, or ordinary Europeans are being told that the problem is elsewhere. No, I mean, and if one thing that I've said a couple of times to some of, of uh, to Western reporters is that if you really don't like strange looking people like me with strange sounding names like mine in your country, the best thing to do is to stop bombing these countries. Thank you. To stop uh, <laughs>